well, hello, and welcome to a uh, mid-afternoon basic sorgonomics. It's been a crazy day here at Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview here in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and uh, with me is my wife and partner in crime here. Missy is with us as well. Hello. 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 So, so it's been a pretty nutty day. Um, I know for me, we were uh, doing the last of the registration days for SAE for a formula, doing well, a Facebook Live. For, for starters, I think you need to back it up because... Well, I got to back it up? Yesterday was podcast Back day, it up, back it which in. Which means oh. we weren't out of the studio podcast until history, about 2 our, o'clock our this morning. Podcast hangover plus other work. Yes. So we're, we're having a great day. Yeah, it's a little bit of dragging. Actually, I ran into at SAE one of the guys from our chat room. That we see on 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 our chat rooms uh, for Mayhem Show and on Twitter a lot, Dave, and he popped out from a cubicle. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and he's like, how are you running on like fumes and coffee right now? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, basically that's been it for like six days. So, uh, so we're running we're running pretty hard here lately. Well, and even with your regular podcast day, how long have you been podcasting? Mm-hmm. Like in general, like. Ha- how many years have you been podcasting? Oh, for uh, coming on 12 years. Yeah, and you used to have to go to work, like at a, your 9 to 5 that you worked for someone else. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you hadn't yet streamlined there. the process. Nope, no. Well, it was a harder process, slower slower computers, different software, especially when I started incorporating video. And there were, yeah, absolutely like, oh, no, I'm not going to bed until 4 o'clock. And, uh, yeah, I have to be at work at 8. And, no, yeah, that's how we're doing this. And that, but that was a determination for us to, to do that. And, and even today where I didn't even, th- it was just like, ah, that sucks. But it's like, well, that's just how it is when I get something where I have a client that needs me in at 830 on a Wednesday. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to complain about it. No, because I not. have that option. Right. Uh, I love working with the client. I was like, no, I will lose sleep for you. Don't worry about it. You know, and uh, I will have enough coffee to make sure everything is OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and again it's it's not like it's an everyday thing although i t- i found i i just found out today how many years have i been going to my client and there's free coffee in the cafeteria what? in the in the uh, floor below us and i just found out about it today what? so now this changes the game as far as i'm concerned <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> but no, there was that. Yeah, I say the last Facebook uh, uh, registration, the third one, third day in a row, going and helping out with that. And, and you know, nothing big, not, not big equipment like we're doing here, but just, you know, with an iPhone. Uh, strangely, we like we had just three iPhone sixes. I threw mine in there for for chat room um, assistance. And we had the one that we're running on and everything. And uh, and it was really, again, it was just a really good communication with people. And a lot of different weird stuff happened today. But again, chatting with people and, and and creating those relationships with the customers, which are those students who are always very interesting because they're college students, of course, right? But uh, and then ran back here. I know we had somebody from the community come in and, and talk to us about a potential new project. Uh, so I, I came in halfway through that, and you were already uh, uh, in the middle of that conversation. Yeah, which those are fun conversations because people are asking about, like, legit. She came in and asked, "So podcasting." What exactly do you, like, I want to start a podcast. I have, like, I, I don't have anything that I'm doing with the podcast. What do I need to do to start a podcast? And the beautiful thing is, is we've had this conversation for years, yes. right? And it's always been like, yeah, you should do this, this, and this, and run free and enjoy and become a prolific podcaster. Don't worry. That's just an old webcam I knocked over. Uh, I'll get that in a moment. But, uh, you know, it, and now we can say, and we can help you doing this. Right. And yes. we can, you know, do what we're doing now for you. Right. And develop it. And, 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 you know, you can come in and we can work with you and you just have to worry about the content and talking for the most part. Yeah. And, and again, it's dependent on the price point. We have a couple of different options available mm-hmm. specifically for that purpose, because somebody who's coming in and has no idea what they're doing. We're not going to be able to have the discussion. Okay, you want to get this microphone. You want to get this XLR cord. You want to get no, this plug. Yeah, you want to get already, this import. It's already off the table. Yeah, so it's you want to make the best of the situation that they have available to them, which is primarily going to be coming in here and recording. Mm-hmm. So now the option becomes, how can we be cost efficient and effective doing that? Can we batch your 
podcast so can we we do more than one episode at a time is there an opportunity that we can kind of get everything together streamline the process for the recording studio portion of it as well as the editing and uploading process of it have that conversation and so we, we tossed out a bunch of different ideas for her, I think, um, based loosely on the discussion that she was having. Mm-hmm. And she's already indicated that, yeah, she's, she's going to work through, figure out what she wants to do specifically with her stuff. And then she's probably going to be back to ask more questions and talk to us about moving forward with it. And so it's, it's nice to have people that come in with that in mind, that they've got the information right there handy available to them. Instead of the people that are like, well, I kind of want to do this or I kind of want to do that, but I'm not really sure. Because at least with her information at hand, what are you doing? I'm doing an Instagram story. I'm letting people know what we do here. Well, what do we do here? We're making basic store economics is what we're doing here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. He, he was like waving his phone around like he was trying to find reception here in the office, which is not an issue. But... uh Back to the conversation about the podcast. It's just the it's just the Instagram wipe. It's the pan. There you go. Yeah, that that's what the he was long just doing. The long arm pan. So yeah, I mean we're we're doing some cool stuff. Uh, community members, it's nice to see people popping in. Some of them out of curiosity, just like we see you got stuff in here. What are you doing? And others, legit, like hey, I know you're doing this. How do I get involved? Exactly. And then, of course, uh, all, all the while I was waiting for uh, the Molly's trolleys to show up across the street because we actually had a tour here in Beachview uh, that I got a heads up on, like, the URA was giving a tour of a bunch of realtors. I believe Howard Hanna. It was a group of Howard Hanna realtors. Nice. Uh, and they're, they're, they're doing some trainings and, and showing parts of the city to, the, to them, uh, people from around the city and outside the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, so, you know, and I just kind of had just ran out with a camera and we're just like, look at all these awesome people that just are checking out your, our fine neighborhood, uh, as I like to do around Bragg and just in general, right. Just to kind of show off our neighborhood and say, Hey, things are happening here. And it's super positive. You realize that I just pretty much pictured you running, chasing people with your camera. It felt like that a little bit. And I'm glad that, uh, uh, uh our, our friend Joe sat with the URA. He was like, by the way, here's Mike. He films everything. Uh, I was like, yes, that's me. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Waved my camera on my stick up in the air because uh, I was just out there with a, a small small cannon and a, and a, and a, a, a monopod, you know, just uh, just like, don't worry about me, you know. Were you waving I'm it around a- like you just didn't care? <laughs> no, because that wouldn't be good video, Missy. <laughs> Not a method. Well, you said that you were waving it around. Yeah, but I cared a little bit. Okay. Um, but anyways, no, but uh, I actually, I know you had a topic, but let's just, let's punt that for tomorrow. Cause I forgot that we were supposed to do podcast hangovers on Wednesday, second week and I already forgot our format. Um, <laughs> so glad that I could remind you. <laughs> it's a few coffee and fumes, man. It's what we're running on today. But anyways, I got a meeting tonight too, but so do so I, I've you. got two of them, yeah, two of them. Um, but, uh, but no, but so we, we did have podcast day yesterday. And uh, we had some awesome guests. We had Cynthia Klosky joining us again in the studio for Awesome Cast. Uh, and we, of course, you know, had an interview with her last week, and we got to, um, you know, kind of expand, you know, that conversation. And, and she's always great to have on. And first time in the studio for an Awesome Cast too. She's always joined us remotely, and yes. I think now that she knows that where where we live or where we're at, well, and and it, yeah. it, she knows it's not my scary basement, uh, I think she's going to visit visit us more often. Yeah, and it's also nice because. <laughs> She had the opportunity to, you know, come in here, obviously, for the awesome chat, but it also gave her the opportunity to look at the space and just see what kind of cool stuff we're doing over here. She indicated last night that it wasn't a bad drive here, because that's part of the other problem dealing with Pittsburgh is Mm -hmm. if you're in one part of the city, it can be a nightmare getting to the other part of the city. Yeah. Uh, We have, for those not familiar with Pittsburgh, we have three rivers how many bridges do we have here? Many, 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 many. To cross the three bridges. And, and I, I keep forgetting the three rivers. We do this all the time because we come home. We're four blocks away, right? And the one, one thing I love about here is I can hop on and, you know, between the train, of mm-hmm. course, but for people driving down other neighborhoods, like she came down from, from East Liberty. She just popped over to 28 and pre- pretty much just went around the city, right? Yep. And you get through the tunnel, Banksville, Banksville Road exit, and then you head up the hill on yep. one of those streets. And that's it. 
you know, or or if that doesn't work, you got uh, Liberty Bridge as another option too. They mm-hmm. come up from that side of the neighborhood. Like it really is like the, you know, think about the first times that we've had appointments and things over in Squirrel Hill, Shady Side, uh, uh, yeah, East Liberty. You're just like, oh, I gotta go through so much stuff to get there. Like it is really just the bounce out of town. Yeah, like it's it, it's not bad at all. Um, you know, for the most part, the time that we do the podcasts, it's after rush hour also the reason we have to do them a little later because we're definitely like a five and six o'clock is not going to work for a lot of people like if we want guests to show up well and even our even our audience i think because people are getting home at that point and you know having them be able to tune in and listen no it's, it's one thing again it's a podcast people can consume it and download it and listen to it whenever however we do the live chat room interaction with it so we have our fans and you know people contributing from the community that's going to be a little more difficult if they're doing it in the car Mm -hmm. and you know we don't want people checking out their facebook from their car while they're driving on their commute home from work especially not in rush hour traffic no no this is the kind of thing that you come in and and you sit down you like your home you settle in and it's appointment viewing for people like like i I never think about this but it really every tuesday night you think about the people that join us in the chat room that we see every week Mm -hmm. you know people that have day jobs and they come home and 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 much like uh, oh it's monday night that means i go watch raw Oh, it's Tuesday night. That means I go watch Awesome Cast or Wrestling Mayhem show mm-hmm. and go go participate in that chat room. And that's a really, I, and again, I, I I don't know, you know, not so much you know take it for granted or, or whatnot, but just I don't think about that so much. No. Hello, hello, Ashley, out there, by the way, um, on the live stream. Hello, hi, uh, Ashley. But uh, yeah, the, no, it, it, it you know it, it's kind of cool because it, it's bringing that back. I always say like you know I've been saying lately like the Facebook Live seems to be making a lot more traction sometimes in the podcast in certain cases. Right. And it's, it's like bringing back that. Why do you watch American Idol when it's live? Right. Because there's a reason why do we watch wrestling when it's live? You know, it, it, it gives you that right now and that interactivity watching it with other people. Oh, so it's not a formatting thing. No, okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I see what you're getting there. And again, like everybody who's watching, live on Tuesdays, they know Awesome Cast goes live around 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. and Mayhem Show goes live around 10 p.m. So we've got people who pop in a little bit early. Mm-hmm. We've got people that we legit just get the streams going on this Facebook. This is also the reason why we take several weeks off around the holidays. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we are uh, like straight through. It happens no matter what. We have replacement engineers that have filled in for me when I've been traveling okay. and we have to get them that lined up for time. Na- the one time, <laughs> but there's going to be a several times this next year. So like, we're going to be at that point, you know, and again, taking cues from the people I take cues from like uh, the, the head guy took a, took a uh, two week vacation and did, did another one, you know, uh, uh, you know, or conference or something, you know, a couple months ago, he's got plenty of people that will just fit in and do the co the hosting duties for him. You know, mm-hmm. uh, he also has people dedicated to do the production. So that's not a big deal. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's hard to find like, you know, OK, this person can be, you know, the switcher hitting the buttons, making Missy come up and everything like that. Making sure the audio looks and sounds OK. Right. Uh, making sure we hit, you know, the right streaming stuff on Facebook. Uh, but uh, no, no, it's, it's it's, you know, one of those one of those things. And, and and because we dedicate to that and that's why this works. And it's probably the hardest thing that we do on a regular basis, to be quite honest. Well, it's definitely uh, time and labor intensive. I mean, it's not like you're out there you know, busting concrete or anything. But podcast night, we start prepping for podcast day. I start putting show notes together you know, a couple of hours early. So I, I go through and I pull the articles and content for the awesome cast. Get that taken care of. Then we have to go pick up uh, the perfect pepperoni pizza from our our sponsor, Slice on Broadway. And then we get back to the office, and you've got to boot up all of the equipment. You've got to get all the computers set to go. We well, start this also, process. Also, one of the great reasons why we uh, we used to batch six episodes, six shows together on mm-hmm. Tuesday nights. And we're down to two because it's one of those, again, it's kind of a, let's make sure we do the two that are important right. Because we were starting to lose quality because we did too much at a time. Mm-hmm. And, and everything is going to be a give and take that as, a, you know, as we build our business and everything like that too. So, 
Yeah, but again, if you've got your staple in there, people look for it. Um, which makes it nice because that, again, builds that nice community that you've got going. So uh, adaptivity is always beneficial. Sorry, trying to get somebody's attention walking by, but they were completely in the zone. Yes. So, uh, but anyways, and plus I don't think people can see us with the sun out. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's very reflective. And you tapping on the window. And I'm tapping. We heard it, we heard it more in here than they I heard I forgot. These are wonderfully double-paned uh, <laughs> windows that we barely yes. hear anything. So. Yes. Awesome. So, uh, Missy. Yes. What did you learn from podcast day? That I'm really sleepy. <laughs> Other than that, because that's going to be like every week. I know. Uh, what did I learn from podcast day? I learned that I'm kind of, we're, we're kind of forging some different things with regard to our podcast workflow. Mm. I was talking with a podcaster that you look up to uh, in, in Slack today about our hosting service. I was, was going to say, we're talking to our hosting service, basically, who is, which is Fireside. And it's, yes. it's about a year old, I think. I think I was, yeah. I was following, I, I was catching up with some of his podcasts because it's been a while because I've been kind of falling out of the loop with a few of them. But I think it's like, it's about a year on Fireside being mm -hmm. public. And they're still, they're very receptive still to features and, and use cases and problems. Yeah, uh, like I said, I was having a, a great conversation with them in the in in a Slack channel about different things that we do with it and how we're doing our podcasty things. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me that I needed to do some other things with our podcast stuff. So each of our websites, I just went through and thanks to something I learned uh, at PodCamp this week, I have Facebook Pixels embedded mm. into each of our sites mm, so pixels. that we can start working on some of the data analytics a little more mm. intuitively. And something that just, you know, you, you're in that silo and you know what you know and you don't know to look at certain things with like maybe a Facebook or something to say, oh, we should use this thing. You yeah. know, I mean, and that's why it's really important, I think, to go to meetups, conferences, talk with other peoples in the space. Or in other versions of the space. I did say peoples. Um, I had a great conversation. There was uh, somebody that was with our beer guy. Our, our donated beer guy. Uh, on um, Noble Stein Brewery. It's out in Indiana, PA. Uh, we're here uh, for the podcast meeting great Friday night uh, in studio. And, uh, and and his wife like does SEO. And was really interested in like you know learning more about the social media side. Because a lot of it can inter inter kind of interconnect. Mm-hmm. No, so we're, we're, we're doing some pretty cool stuff, and I think I can blame it all on you and your podcasting. Completely my fault. So on that note, we're going to go get uh, probably get some food and get a nap. <laughs> now that we've caught up with, well, a caught up is a relative term with everything going on. It is like National Taco Day or something. Is it seriously? I feel like that's already happened. No, you're thinking Taco Tuesday that happens every week, but I think it's like legit National Taco Day. Oh, nice. I missed I, I missed Talk Like a Pirate Day again. It was on a podcast day, too, and I didn't jump on that. Yeah, you're excited about Halloween being on podcast day. Halloween on podcast day is going to be amazing. So, yeah. All right. Also, we need to plan Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes. I need to get confirmation with our Canadian friends for that one. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. Basic Sorgonomics. Check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. We'll